Welcome back to this week's Bailey Built. Now California going back on lockdown and that makes it difficult to head to the gym to get a workout. So I thought about putting a system in here at my house. The trouble is finding weights these days can be a tough task. So I decided to find some older weights and renew them and I'll show you how I did it. <music> With older weights, you find that rust builds up over time from the faces and the edges of the plates to the bars and collars used for squats and curls. For this week's project, I'm using a variety of paints and tools. I'd like to thank our friends over at Ace Hardware for providing some of the supplies for the video. I'll add links in the description to the items below. This was my first project using Rust-Oleum's Rust Reformer. It's supposed to convert rust to a paintable surface, avoiding the need for full rust removal. I chose Rust-Oleum's Hammered Paint and Primer for this project as well. The hammered formula provides a nice texture that hides any blemishes in the weights. It can be also used on wood, metal, plastic, and masonry. Now the first step is to grab a wire brush and begin working on the plates. The goal is to get all the loose rust off you can. After that, I worked on both bars. I found that holding the end of the bar with one hand while scrubbing on the other hand worked out best. Rotating the bar while scrubbing it cut down on the time I spent removing the rust. Next up, it was time to spray on the rust reformer. I used my Rust-Oleum spray grip and covered all the problem areas with a light, even coat. Now after letting that coat dry for about 24 hours, it was time for the final coat. I started with the plates and covered them with the hammered spray in black. I sprayed the first side, let it dry for a day, then flipped them over and sprayed the opposite side. I used a can of Rust-Oleum's hammered paint and primer in a silver for the actual bars. This was my first time using this type of spray can and that built-in grip was very comfortable and made it really nice to use. Now the hammered paint sprays in a wide vertical band that made it ideal for even coverage across both ends of the barbell. And after letting it sit for a day, the set is finally ready to use. Well, we're back indoors now. We've moved all the weights back into the garage. I'll tell you, the rust preventer and the paint turned out really nice. And take a look at the finishes here of those different plates from the 45, the 25s, and the 10s. They all turned out really nice. And of course, that metallic paint worked really well with that silver finish on the actual barbell as well as the curl bar. You can even see the detail there in those handles on the curl bar as well. We'll be building out a gym here to be able to work out over the next several weeks so you can stick around. I've got a bench press and also a weight holder to put together. And it's a little chilly out as we're heading toward winter time. So we've got a heater back there as well. We'll have a separate video on that coming up here over the next couple of weeks. If you love all the DIY projects that you've been watching here on Bailey Built, click like on this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well and stick around as we bring you more projects here in the coming weeks. For now, take care.